use very, very strong Wi-Fi passwords. Now, I'm not talking about the administrator password, although that too should be strong, but I'm talking about the Wi-Fi password that you use to get onto your network. As I mentioned up in the attacks, once a hacker captures that handshake, which they can do very easily with with Wireshark or, or some other sniffer, uh, once they have that, they have that number, that uh, hash of your password, and they can take that home with them and do whatever they want to try to crack it. If they throw enough computing power out at it and, and a good strong dictionary attack, that has all these uh, all the different uh, characters and so forth uh, it can be cracked quite easily so very very strong password so that it would take a long time to get it remember you only have to put this thing in once right once we, once you enter it uh, your computer remembers it so um, although that's actually one of the things later on is that it's best if you don't do that but uh, we understand that most of the time you will. Consider hiding your SSID. Now the SSID is the name of your network. So <clears throat> for example in my case the name of my network is Tree Farm. So this is what you actually look at or click on when you join that network. You can turn that to hidden so that it is not broadcast from your wireless router. This is a controversial practice. Um, while it does make it a little harder for casual attackers because they won't see the name when they call it up on their system but sophisticated hackers it actually makes it easier so I gave you a, a link here um, so that you can read up if you wish on why and how it is sometimes weaker to do this uh, so this is not one that I absolutely recommend but that's why I said consider um, you can make your own decision after reading uh, articles like this one. Uh, use one or more firewalls, software firewall on the device themselves. For example, your Windows firewall. Um, there is a firewall built in your wireless router. These two, at the very least, you certainly should have turned on. Uh, a hardware firewall on your network, if you have one, and not everybody, of course, is going to have one. This should actually be before your router. Um, you can buy them as low as, oh, here's one for $60, and this is a universal threat uh, management um, system. So it's going to also have um, IDS, IPS, and uh, several other, probably content management and several other items, all for $60. Now, this is a cheaper one, um, and of course you can see you can get up 100 200 500 so it all depends on how sophisticated you want to get and this is not an absolute but if you have one of these guys or can afford one of these guys or you're concerned enough about your security then uh, certainly um, you, you might want to get a, you know, a external firewall to add to it um, okay that's it for this video we'll take on IDS IPS next time